patient is Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we'll be discussing what to do about fin rot in your pet fish. Now, first of all, fin rot can potentially be a lot of different things. So the classic definition of fin rot is a localized either bacterial or fungal infection, usually in the fins of your fish. Now, a lot of the time, simple traumas can actually look like fin rot. Um, for some fish with very delicate fins, like betta fish, um, if they're sick in kind of any way, um, what happens is your clotting factors get super activated. It happens in a lot of different species. And since their little tails are so delicate, those little clots kind of get stuck at the end. And what happens is the tissue loses blood flow and obviously is very easy for fungi and bacteria to colonize that little area. Now, if it doesn't get hold, usually the, the piece of tissue would just fall off. So in that case, you're probably looking at maybe some water chemistry issues, making sure the diet is appropriate. Um, most of the time, what you're thinking is fin rot is really secondary to something else. So if it is trauma, again, fish with very delicate fins, like betas and fancy goldfish, uh, make sure that their tank decor is appropriate. So a lot of the times, those plastic plants that they have for fish tanks are not all the times um, beta safe. So they do make silk plants specifically for beta fish just because their little fins get torn on so many things. Um, a lot of the times, if it is, say, a beta, your water is actually probably a little bit too cold. Um, so if betas are too cold, they're tropical fish, so we're looking around 80 degrees. If it's too cold, their metabolism's not gonna work, their immune system's not gonna work. So any little nicks and cuts that they get, they're not gonna be able to properly heal. And if it's kind of on an extremity, like a fin, it's really hard to get blood flow to that to begin with. So best way to kind of assess this is A, make sure your tank is the correct temperature, make sure your water chemistry is in the right range, and run your hand around all of your substrate. And if you feel anything, even just gently glance on your fingers, it needs to go or be trimmed or just cut back. Um, that's usually most of the fin rot that we see. Um, certainly there is some cases in bigger fish like koi. Um, there's a couple different diseases that can kind of look like fin rot. Uh, cart pox, also known as printed herpes virus one, um, creates a localized benign uh, proliferation of the epithelial tissue of the skin. So it kind of creates a little frosted coating um, unfortunately, the immune factors really don't work, especially in colder weather. So it just kind of looks like the, the tissue is essentially got a good giant fungus on it and it's looks like it's going to fall off. Um, so again, most of the fin, fin rot problems really isn't a primary issue. Um, again, if it is trauma, that's not actually fin rot. Um, and if it is, say, a secondary sign, there's going to be a primary cause of that. And again, that comes down to poor water quality and diet. Um, those are really the two biggest things that we see. So hopefully that helps even treat your fish with fin rot if you're able to get those two turned around. Um, certainly if you have, say, a fungus or a bacterial infection that has persisted for a while, um, your fish is probably going to require veterinary care. So make sure you get them out and certainly be aware that they're probably going to have you correct your diet and water chemistry and go from there. So we hope that's answered some of your questions. If you have any more fish health concerns or need more information, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.